Wonder Woman is taking on the Israeli Prime Minister. Gal Gadot, the actress who portrays the heroine, jumped to the defense of a top Israeli TV host who criticized Netanyahu over his campaign stance towards Israel's Arab minority and stressed Arabs are citizens too. Netanyahu shot back on Instagram saying, quote, Israel is not a state of all its citizens. Israel is the state of the Jewish people and belongs to them alone. Gadot responded on her Instagram page, which has more than 28 million followers. Loving your neighbor as yourself is not a matter of left or right, Jew or Arab, secular or religious. It's about dialogue for peace and equality and our tolerance for one another. We have CNN international correspondent Melissa Bell joining us in Jerusalem. And, and tell us, Melissa, what prompted these remarks from the prime minister about the Arab minority? Well, that initial post, Brianna, which was essentially saying to politicians on the part of this Israeli actress, fairly well known and a friend of Gal Gadot, saying, look, we're fed up of you guys speaking only for Israeli Jews. It's time you spoke for all their citizens, because bear in mind, nearly 20 percent of Israeli citizens are Arab. They're Palestinians who found themselves here, became Israeli citizens back at the war of 1948. That is what Benjamin Netanyahu pounced upon, not only with a number of social media posts, but with an on-camera statement saying, something much further than really he'd ever said before, saying that in fact, although he respected all the rights of Israeli citizens, Israel was essentially the nation state only of the Jewish people. Extremely divisive, we're in an election period, which is probably why he did it. It's something he's done before, a well-worn strategy, but something that a lot of Israelis reflected by the posts of Gal Gadot in the wake of it, simply don't want to hear election period or not. Brianna. Melissa Bell in Jerusalem, thank you. And that is it for me.